Hello, and welcome to a Thursday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to do the Thursday, October 31st, 2024 Crosswords, and go for that 43-day streak. Wonder if there'll be a Halloween theme. Anyway, here's your spoiler alert for the Thursday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. And as always, free to play. Alright, let's do it. Uh, this is Zilch and Source. Specs, Eel, I hope. Uh, this is Croc, Hats, Robot, Label. Catherine O'Hara. We made a Beelgeuse theme yesterday. Got a Halloween costume mentioned there. Gibbets. Don't know much about Crocs, but... Alright, so a little bit of uh, Halloween-y stuff. Now for the main event, that's the Thursday Daily Grid, which is by Sarah Sinclair and Paolo Pasco today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. Thursday is the best day of the week, since it's the hard-themed puzzle. It's also a holiday, so maybe uh, maybe we'll see a holiday theme. Only one way to find out. Let's see what Sarah Sinclair and Paolo Pasco have in store for us. Let's get into it. Go downhill fast. Maybe it's sled. Quaint store is shop. Maze runner. Mistress of the Dark in a 1988 film. Is it Elvira? Is that Ghostbusters? Othello roll. Adjective often paired with... Hardy. It's Hale and Hardy. Duh is Obvi. Uh, June Observance. Don't, pride? Something. Instigate and Sound Sounds. Encouragement to a flamenco performer is Ole. Noted Convention Center? Question mark. Cut finely. Could be mince. Common situations in time travel narratives. Civil rights leader Medgar Evers. Pastry whose dough is used in making eggs in a blanket. Campbell is Neve Campbell. Okay, just terrible in slang. This is foment, like a rebellion. The boy in Never Before Has a Boy Wanted More. It's Oliver. This is Geneva. Oghorns. This is trash, maybe. This Crescent, one of the original five inductees into the Baseball Hall of Fame, and Little Wild. Yes, that's abundantly clear. Source of refreshments on a train to London. Cruise through. Moo blank la la la. Don't know it. It's, could be wrong. The Emperor Caligula wanted to name his cons wanted to name his a consul in legend. Horse. Fellow presenter. Lowercase n looks like Ada. It's a lab rat. Uh, its cups aren't supposed to run it over. It's a bra. Art knife brand is exacto. Paradoxes. Financial institution with ATMs and as green machines. TD Bank. Uh, Desdemona. Obs. Desdemona. We have a demon. Okay, so it is going to be some kind of uh, Halloween theme. Uh, crescent roll, and there's troll at the end, I think. Uh, some kind of trolley. Tea trolley? This could be a bit... Uh, singer Lewis. Huey Lewis? Yeah, this could be co-host. Have it your way, then. What the puck is going on? The rink? Paintings in the Water Lily series. Monet's. And of La Mancha. Don Quixote. Elizabeth Arden. Dating app for queer women. Don't know it. A Halloween-themed hit. The Monster Mash. Okay. Babe Ruth. Makes sense. Pigeonry. I don't know what that is. Ooh, ba la la la. Didn't know that one. It's an ace, I can see. Coat, I see. Literally, a pigeonry. BB's sister in a gospel duo. Don't know it. Something dead in a haunted corn maze. Contract. Mongolia? Dead end. 
or don't. Openness is candor. Certain edible seedlings. Blank powder, manicure type. It comes from the heart, your aorta. Invite four, maybe it's ask in. Opposite of a jum jumbo shake. Okay. Summer drink made from the fruits of two tropical trees. Mango something. Uh, painter whose Olympia caused controversy for its depiction of a sex worker. Is it Monet? Graph showing the status of a download. It's a progress bar. Uh, right? 2016 election nickname. Uh, 2016 was Trump versus Hillary. General during the Clone Wars was Kenobi, not Mongolia. Oh, uh, just trying to figure out what the rebuses are. Like Polish, but not Polish. Last Christmas is Wham. Not happening. No way. Apollo and blank. Kick around some concepts. It's an ideate. Aspiring drivers need. Prefix with trust or rust. Anti. Throw hard is yeet. Daphne. Okay. Lionizing lines. It's an ode. Marble count for each side in Chinese checkers. It's 10, right? Breakfast at Tiffany was Truman Capote. Keep in stock, say. This is Urs. Reorder. Ogre. I see. Shout out to Ogre. Should have seen it. Um, micro greens. Okay. Alright, so mango lemonade. Not mango. Result of burning sage is aroma. I think that is Monet. This is the burn. On tape here, this is ask to tremor. Aspiring drivers need is a permit. This golem. Golem, okay. Mongol Empire. Mongol Empire. All right. So we've got a Halloween theme. And I'm always going to like a puzzle like this. Just because I like finding rebuses. It's nice that all the rebuses are different. They're monsters from sort of a wide variety of different kinds, I guess. Let's see Desdemona. I could have, if I if I had seen that this was going to be long, I would I would have known it. I promise. But since I this is obvi, Pride Month. We've got Crescent Roll crossing T trolley, microgreens, which I like. I think that's like I like them to eat. I also like them the most in this puzzle. Crossing Progress Bar. It's nice that the ogre is in between the micro and the greens. Um, I guess that's true for. In in these also, in the crosses, in here also. So there's been a concerted effort to make the um, Rebus cross the two words, which makes it harder to see. Um, I will say, I don't think, I, I, I'm always always gonna like a puzzle like this. It's enjoyable, it's fun. I don't think it's the most creative Halloween theme. Sort of Rebusing monsters is sort of the, the first first order thing you would do with a revealer of Monster Mash, but I don't think that matters. I think it's just to be a fun Halloween-ish puzzle. And I think it basically achieves its goals there. And you know, Monster Mash is such a classic, at least here in the US, that this is a kind of puzzle that basically everyone can... It's supposed to be a fun holiday puzzle and kind of Thursday-ish, Thursday so I think it really... It really hits on all fronts there. I don't think it's going to play super hard, even, even with the Rebus. The moment it is, the moment at how many people is this may not be very many people. So let's see how these things change. Yeah, it was only two people. Um, 
and I solve faster than my thirst. No, someone solved faster, someone solved slower, and I solved slower. So maybe it'll play a little slow based on very limited data. But at any rate, it was a good time. Anyway, let's move on to the plus word. Here's your spoiler alert for the plus word. There's a link in the description below. Plus words free to play. British mini crossword meets world at the end. Got Marco Polo, the first across. Ruth, somebody I don't know. Run a foul of. Path is a root. Hooded snake is a cobra. A river mammal is an otter. So cobra is supposed to be an anagram of this one. So it's, sorry, route is. So this is outre. Game's afoot. Doubt. And clear. Ruth Maddock. No, Ruth Maddock. So, just mince? We had mince in the other puzzle too, didn't we? Or like chop finely or something. I assume Ruth Maddock is a British actress. Welsh. Yeah, so British, but in particular Welsh. Heidi High. To be fair, that's a BBC series that ended before I was born, so... I think it's okay that I didn't recognize it. I should try to learn more stuff, you know, but you gotta learn stuff over time. Yeah, cool. And let's end as we always do on the New York Times Connections puzzle, where we try to make four groups of four. Let's see what we got here. Idea, boom, packing, dolly. Skateboard, gaffer, wagon, best boy, duct, spike, electrical stables, rise, rollerblade, kroner, and surge. These have to do with filmmaking, right? Gaffers and best boys, those are members of a film crew. Boom and a dolly are pieces of equipment. Kroner is definitely a kind of currency, but I don't see any other currency. Now, so this is probably one of the purple ones, surely, because I don't know what's happening. I also see rise, surge, spike, and boom. So this um, may be a red herring. Skateboard, wagon, rollerblade, dolly. They all have wheels. Uh, duct tape, gaffer tape, electrical tape. Right, so this might be one. Surge, ride, spike, and boom might be one. Gaffer tape, duct tape, electrical tape, and packing tape. And then there's idea, best boy, stables, and kroner. Ah, we're all one letter off from retailers. Ikea, Best Buy, Staples, and Kroger. Kroger, which by the way, I didn't know about until I went to college. We don't have Kroger's in New Jersey, but all my friends from the Midwest. You don't know about Kroger? Yeah, okay, so one letter off from major retail chains. Yeah, that's right. Uh, what's the second most lateral thinking one? None of the rest are really lateral thinking ones, so let's go with the one that requires a little bit of knowledge for blue. That's right. This requires no lateral thinking. This is somehow easier, but let's go with things with wheels. Yeah, all right. So we did, in fact, get hopefully 99 skill. Uh, I don't know if I've done it on video since Connection Spot has has been a thing. I definitely have done it on video many times before. Maybe many times is exaggerating, but straightforward connections today. 35% of people made no mistakes. Two out of five difficulty. Easy fun puzzles today. There we go, that 99 out of 99 skill. Yeah, and people the number of people who found each one first actually sort of went in order. 
Ja. One percent of people. Yeah, film set rolls. It's nice. I, I like it. I like it when there's a red herring that's one from each category. It's just somehow very pleasant. Um, people didn't know about gaffer tape, I guess. Look, maybe I'm wrong. I must be wrong. I always thought the gaffer tape and duct tape were the same thing. No, it's not. Very different. Heavy cotton cloth, pressure sensitive tape. Yellow gaffer tape. Yeah, okay. Quite different. Quite different. Yeah, so here I think. To me, this is like people recognize that they were tape and didn't know what the fourth tape was. Yeah, Kroner was not very well hidden, I'll say. Yeah, most common mistake is the one I would have fallen into, frankly. That's why you should always look at all the connections first. Most common mistake here from people who had already gotten the purple was to not know what kind of tape there would be. I'm guessing there weren't very many mistakes from here. Less than 1% of players made this mistake, but this is the most common mistake. And then, yeah. Maybe I've done this once on video before, actually. Reverse rainbow. No mistakes. That's the goal. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Happy Halloween if you like Halloween. See you tomorrow for some Friday puzzles. See you then.